Good morning. We are concluding our reflections on Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. We're talking about letting God lead. Letting God lead. Think about that for a second. Are you letting God lead? Because when you're letting God lead, you're doing the most important, most, the smartest thing you can possibly do is trusting that God is able to lead you. God is able to, to provide the direction for you and I to go in ways that are the best for us. Now, when we grab a hold of the reins and we, we try to go our own direction, it ends up usually being something that's at least a mistake, at worst a disaster. But we are trusting that God is able to lead us. But I want to I wanna challenge that today and say, are you allowing God to lead you? How much willfulness are you kind of wrestling with God over the things that you want? Maybe it's a, a person that you want to date. Maybe it's getting a, getting this or that from your spouse. Maybe it is trying to wrestle with getting your kids to comply or do this. Maybe it's trying to get that job. Maybe it's trying to uh, you know, wrestling with what do I do with this neighbor from hell? What do I do in these situations? And God is able to lead you and to provide the leadership in all of these different ways, all of them, not some of them, all of them, if we are willing to entrust these things to him, stop trying to manipulate things with our own under our own effort. Remember, unless the Lord builds the house, the labors labor in vain that God is the one who has to do these things, that we don't lean, that we acknowledge verbally. We acknowledge verbally, Lord, you're trustworthy. I trust you. Here are the reins. And then whenever we take the reins back, here are the reins. I trust you. Here are the reins. I trust you. Here are the reins. And we continue to bring the reins back to him. And we say, we say aloud, I trust you. I'm not leaning on what I can provide here. I ask that you would lead me. And then we start moving. And as we move, the Spirit will direct us. The Spirit will shepherd us. The Spirit will, he doesn't, he doesn't say just stay in inactivity. He's talking about moving with him in the, all of the rhythms of life. And as we do, as we trust in him, as we acknowledge him, as we keep him in the conversation, the conversation starts to change us and starts to redirect us. That's our word for today. And, uh, We'll talk some more on Sunday.